Hi, everyone. I am so thrilled to be a part of I Am Humanity Day. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you to Meryl Scher for having me. So I am Jesse Fahey. I am the founder and I am the executive director of Ripple Effect Artists Incorporated. We were founded in 2009. We put on theatrical productions and very recently film and during COVID radio productions and podcasts, all of which with one specific intention, which is to use the performing arts to raise awareness and funds for different human rights causes and initiatives. We've also done comedy too, I forgot that. So what we have done and what we will continue to do is to create very specific partnerships with different human rights advocacy organizations. With every year, every fiscal year, we have a different theme. And with every year and theme, we put on a series of productions. And we'll have talk back or panel conversations after all of our productions that will inspire our audiences to ask questions of the experts that we have on the panel speaking about our advocacy work. And we are very honored to be a 501c3 actors equity company, meaning that we hire all of our actors and stage managers as employees. And that is just to show that we honor their art and their work on their art. I come from an acting background and a singing background. And I know just how important it is to ensure that actors and those who are artists are paid equitably and paid responsibly. You think the house, the cars, the jewels, that they'd all satisfy that faint rumbling yearning of one soul. And then it finally hits you that your life has passed you by. Now where's the other half who's supposed to make me whole? When you think your life's a mess, say yes. When you can't zip up your favorite dress, say yes. Say yes to the man who dumped you. He's a jerk, so what? Move on. Just watch, cause when the wind starts to blow, I'll say no. No, you'll say yes. If I just say yes. Yes, 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 yes. If I just say yes. Yes, 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 yes. I just say yes to the loss, Woo! yes to the pain, yes to the mess and the stress and the strain. Don't give up, my friend, just fight till the end. A better day's coming if you just say yes. I am woman, hear me wrong. If I just say Come on over to my house, leave your clothes by the door. Mama's gonna take care of you, show me something, I'll show you more. When I was young and oh so foolish, guided by my heart, I couldn't find my G-spot. So that's the place to start, we'll do it on my terms, on my dime. Keeps things nice and neat, if it's my terms we follow, I might. Massage your feet. What I am most excited by is that I love the day, opening day and the following productions after that and closing day, that we know we have this great production. We know we have an audience coming who have gotten tickets one way or another, and they're coming to not only be entertained, but perhaps be inspired in some way, or perhaps perhaps be challenged in some way. And then what, what just is my absolute love and joy and juice is sitting on a panel and interviewing these nonprofit organizations, whether it be the executive director or volunteers or people who work in these incredible organizations that make such a huge difference. I love that a theater audience gets to, after seeing a show, be a part of a, of a conversation about topics that are important and critical to all of us. We've taken on topics such as LB, LGBTQ rights, structural racism, 
worker rights. Last year, we took on female body autonomy, mental health. This year, we're taking on what the homeless crisis is in New York and across the country. And I just love that it's just this incredible win-win for everybody. You know, the, the organizations get to have access to a theater audience. The theater audience gets to know that they're giving back so it's just this incredible space of everybody wins. And I love that I get to get on the phone with incredible organizations and say, we're going to give to you and we're going to give to you through our art. And I might not know how to do all the advocacy work that you do, but I know how to be a champion for you. And I know how to produce a show that's going to tell your story. <laughs> Protect your children, there's cougars in the club. I'm gonna get that young bear cub. Check out the prey at five o'clock. I'll chat them up, then load and lock. Eh, 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 eh. My ultimate vision is that there be ongoing partnerships between arts organizations and advocacy work across the world because that will accomplish so many outcomes, so many great outcomes. One outcome that will accomplish is that more advocacy organizations will just have more visibility and they will not only just have more eyeballs on what they do, but their stories are gonna be told because as theater artists, we are storytellers. So when you really see the story of whatever the cause is, whether it's someone who's hungry or somebody who has gone through oppression, when you really are hit viscerally as an audience member with that story, there's different actions typically people take. So if more of those stories are, are told to propel a certain action forward, then that is just incredibly inspiring. So that's one vision. And then another vision going the other way in the cycle is that artists can be seen as needed and necessary. I know those are like synonymous words, but they can be seen in the world, in our country, in society as incredibly useful and needed civilians rather than just people who provide entertainment. And that has a whole lot of other outcomes. Now, I, I have nothing against providing entertainment for providing entertainment value. I love entertainment. I love entertainment just for the sake of entertainment. I've been a theater goer for a very long time. And what I'm interested in is what would it look like if artists were seen as necessary in the world? Would that possibly mean that salaries would be higher? Would that mean more government funding? Would that mean stable jobs? Would that mean stable housing? Would it mean actors and artists don't have to have day jobs in order to live because they're providing a specific service? So it's, it's both of those impacts that I really see that the way forward for artists is creating those sorts of uh, measurable impacts and partnerships. I have been stressed lately. I, I just got divorced, and now that I'm newly single, I feel like I have the weight of the world on my shoulders. Is that too hard? No, I like it hard. <laughs> I mean, I like it deep. Ooh, no, oh, holy mother of God. Ooh, ooh, where have you been for the last 10 years of my life? High school? I think everyone has a specific part to play and how they want to make a particular difference. And I think that breakdowns happen, struggle happens, stress happens when people are put in roles that are not really for, for them to play, that they don't want to play or that it isn't their calling to play that role. I think everybody has a different calling to play a particular role in how they're out to contribute. And so what I am most inspired by is giving everybody their role to play and having everybody play together and work together. You know, I have, I have incredible artists who care about these causes. They're not getting on the phone with advocacy organizations. That's okay. Their heart is on the stage 
And then, you know, people who stage manages, manage these shows, they make sure that there's a solid organizational foundation to ensure that these artists can let their hearts flourish. And then there are the people who just attend and want to maybe write a check, but they're not organizers. And then there are people who are organizers and all of it is incredible, glorious, charitable, generous, and loving and great. And so I just have this vision of all people working together with the contributions they're out to make. And I believe that most people fundamentally at their heart of hearts, when we were born as children, want to contribute and make a profound difference. Follow Ripple Effect Artists on Facebook, follow us on LinkedIn, find our website, look to see, hey, is there a great local arts group that's, th that's thriving? Because those or that needs to be thriving, but might be struggling a bit because those are the organizations that we need to have around uh, because it's what keeps a community thriving. So that's another. And then the third is take a look to see how strategic partnerships can be built to create ripple effects. You know, is there is there a local food bank and is there a play about about hunger? Are there ways that they can work together? Find ways to have great arts institutions work with great advocacy groups because it's, again, it's a win-win. You're gonna get two audiences in the theater and you're going to ensure that critical conversations are being had and they're being had through the arts. So look to see where you can create a ripple effect model to all with I Am Humanity Day, thank you for being movers and shakers and difference makers on this planet. Let's rock and roll.